Now if you remember, what we've done so far with Mailgun is we've only set it up so it can send from a sandbox domain. So we've only, we're only sending from this mailgun.org domain. And to use that, we actually have to add or specifically set up the users that can receive emails from this domain. That's not very useful for us, especially if you wanna release your app to production, you wanna actually set up so you can send email from any domain. Now to do that, we have to set up your own custom domain. So yeah, you do have to have your own domain name somewhere which you can use. I'm going to set this up as if it's coming from codecraft.tv. So the thing to do is if you look on the right hand side, it's gonna say it has a, a step two, which is add custom domain. Let me, I'm gonna click that. And I'm gonna add the domain name that I want to send email from. So I'm gonna do something like, I'm gonna send from email server1.codecraft.tv. And then I'm just gonna click add domain. Okay, so now this page might look a bit scary for you, especially if you, have, if you haven't dealt with any kind of DNS records before. Now these are just settings that you need to set up associated with the domain name that you've bought. Now depending on the system that you use or the place that you bought the domain name, so perhaps if you bought it from GoDaddy, it provides instructions specifically for these different domain name providers to give you information about how to actually set up these settings for that provider. I actually use something called Cloudflare to manage all of my domain names. So I'm just gonna show you how to set up your domain names for that. Now there's two you need to set up to send. This one here, and there's this one here. Now they're both called text records, TXT records. So I'm just gonna get this value here, okay. So depending on your domain name, server or, or the place you bought domain names. It might look somewhat similar to this, or it might look a little bit different, but just but just Google perhaps how to set up uh, the text DNS rec records, TXT DNS records for the provider that you bought your domain from. Again, if you bought from GoDaddy, Namecheap, Network Solutions, or any of these, you can just click, click on here and I'll give you the instructions. I'm using Cloudflare, so I'm gonna show you how to use that one instead. So. You go to the DNS page for your domain name. I'm going to add a text record, so TXT. That's the value it told us to use. And the server it told us to use, where's it gone? It's here. So the server, it, what the host name wants us to use is this one. So I'm just going to put that in the name. And that's it. I'm just gonna click add record. So you can see it's added it there. The next one I want to do is this one here so again it's another text record go back into here that's the name go back into here that's the value i want to paste in copy paste and then hit add record and with cloudflare that's it there's no separate save button or anything i just have to set that on its own okay so the other one I want to add is something called a C name record. So I am going to add that in. So I'm going to copy that one, go into DNS. Instead of text, I'm going to choose C name. That's the name. And that is the value I want to store for that name. Oh, sorry, wrong one. For that name, domain name, add record. Okay. So th these first two records are really just kind of giving Mailgun permission to, to send the email as if it's coming from codecraft.tv. Or, or another way, it gives us, we're giving Mailgun permission to make it look like the email's coming from codecraft.tv. Otherwise, anybody could come along and pretend they're sending email from facebook.com. You know, the person who owns the domain has to set these settings, otherwise Mailgun won't let you send from the domain name that, you, that you're saying you want to send from. And uh, number three is just so that you can then get additional data about, well, how many, how many people have clicked a link, how many people have opened an email that you sent, et cetera, et cetera. And the number four, we don't really need, this is, this is only if you want to receive email to codecraft.tv, which we, we don't really need to, need, to, need to set up number four. And that's it. Now it can take quite a while for this to get set up. It can take 24 to 48 hours. 
So let's go to domain overview. Okay, so you can see here, it's saying the state is unverified. So now, and this is red and red. And um, so now if I click on check records now, you can see it's trying to search the domain records. Okay, this one was fast. This one actually managed to check the domain records. It all happened very, very fast. So now it found, it checked the domain codecraft.com, it checked the DNS records, it found the ones it was expecting, it's now happy with this domain and it's counted it as active. So that's all good. So we can now send email from codecraft.tv. So then when you go back into your domains tab, you should, you should then see this domain and it's, well, it should be active by now. Or you should at least wait until it becomes active. Once it's active, copy that domain name copy that full domain name, go back into your Heroku dashboard, go back into the settings, reveal the config variables, and if you remember the Mailgun domain, config var variable, we don't want to use, this is the sandbox domain, we don't want to use this anymore. Now, we want to use our own custom domain, so we then click Save Changes here, okay? Now, because we've saved some changes, you should expect the the server to basically restart. So if you check the logs, we can see, well, you should see that I set the Melgun domain and then it restarted the server. And only when it's, once it's restarted, will it really take into account the new Melgun domain that we've added. So once we've done that, let's go back into JS bin. Let's comment this out and let's set up another user. So I'm, I'm gonna sign up another user again. So let's do asim at test2, codecraftpro.com. Let's hit run again. Yep, the user has signed up. And now if I go back and I check my email, I should see another, please verify your email. Go into it. And the difference you should see between this one and the previous one, so the one above is the previous one, you should see the previous one said via mailgun.org. Okay, via mailgun.org. This one, because we're now using a custom domain, it's not saying via mailgun.org. It actually got sent from codecraft.tv. So it just gives, or also just gives your, your email, you know, a little bit more validity because it doesn't have this via next to it. But anyway, from this point forward, everything's exactly the same. If you just click the link, you successfully verify your email. And um, now if we click refresh, you should see uh, the new user there. So there we go. Now, now we've set up Melgun to use your own custom domain. We need to do that with Melgun, otherwise it won't let you send emails to people it doesn't already know about.